is Beck and welcome to the intimidating TBR tag. I am going to be doing this a little bit differently than I would usually do it because I did this tag in January and I wanted to revisit that video that I did as well as answering the questions over again now. So this is kind of going to be an intimidating TBR tag with a reacting twist to it. I'm looking forward to seeing what my answers are and how they vary compared to what they were in January. Hello, my name is Beck, and I thought I'd start the year off by doing the intimidating TBR tag. I would link the original video, but Lindsay Ray, the creator of this tag, has actually made her channel private, so I can't link that down below for you. The first question on this tag is, what is a book that you have been unable to finish? That would definitely be the Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin. I answered the Song of Ice and Fire series, which is actually pretty funny to me because I'm listening to A Clash of Kings on audiobook right now. So that is definitely something that I have made a change this year for because I didn't think that I'd start this at all but I'm reading the audiobook and I'm actually really liking the audiobook for this series. So even though I started reading this physically twice and I think I've still got my bookmark in it from when I did that, I am liking the audiobook a whole ton so I'm anticipating that I'll continue reading this series on audiobook instead of physically. Question number two is what book have you yet to read because you just haven't had the time? That would probably be the rest of the books by Anthony Ryan. I've actually read the Anthony Ryan books or well I tried to. So I DNF Tower Lord, which is the second book in the Raven's Shadow series. The first one is Blood Song. And then I also ended up reading The Waking Fire this year as well. So I've made progress definitely on that question. Question number three is what book have you yet to read because it's a sequel? At the moment, I would probably say This Cruel Design, which is the second book in this Mortal Coil series. And I would say that I'm doing pretty well at tackling the sequels and the series on my TBR this year. The only things that I haven't really tackled yet are a few books that I've not done a book haul for yet. So those series are the last in the Renegade series, so Supernova by Marissa Meyer. And then I've also got the last in the Spellslinger series, so that is Crownbreaker by Sebastian de Castell. But these are fairly new, acquired books so I'm okay with myself that I haven't read these yet because obviously they're going to be tackled in the next like month I reckon if not next month then definitely January but as for past me in January I've read this mortal coil and this cruel design so I pretty much read them back to back in a vlog which I will link up in the cards for you Question number four is what book have you yet to read because it's brand new and this would definitely be Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I have read and really enjoyed Priory of the Orange Tree. I think I read it in a reading vlog actually. So even though I was worried about the size of it in the initial tag that I did, I actually ended up getting through it okay. I think I tossed up between reading some of the physical book and then also reading it on audiobook. So the audiobook definitely saved me for Priory. And again, the books that I've just hauled, so Supernova and Crownbreaker are the books that are brand new. And I also also hold the last book in the Lightbringer series by Brent Weeks, so The Burning White, and I have already listened to the audiobook for that. So I'm really proud of myself that I've hauled a book that is especially this big. The audiobook was like 37 hours long and I've already read it. So that felt good to bring it home and go, I've already read this. Question number five is what is a book that you have yet to read because you read a book by the same author and didn't enjoy it? I don't know. I don't think I have one. I don't really think I have one for this answer. The only thing I can think of is Windrunner because it's co-written by George R. R. Martin. I'd since unhauled that book, but I have listened to Rogues and that has a story by George R. R. Martin and also by Lisa Tuttle in it. So technically I've listened to them and I've found them okay. But for this answer now, I think I've unhauled books that I generally don't enjoy by the same author. I'm thinking of Unwind by Neil Shusterman because I read like 40 pages of that and got rid of it, but I want to try reading Scythe in the future by him. I've since heard that there's a romance in the book that's not really well developed so that's kind of putting me off. I think I'll try. I think I'll try and give Scythe a go but it's not going to be a major priority or anything. I just realized that I actually do have something else by George R. R. Martin and I'd probably put it to this question because I've enjoyed things and I found things okay by him so I think he kind of fits for this prompt but I do have the compendium called Dangerous Women and I think he's either written a story or edited it or both and I know that his work features in it and it features a bunch of other fantasy authors as well so I'll probably end up reading that sometime next year because again it's just really really big. Question number six is what book have you yet to read because you're just not in the mood for it. I think that book would be The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak just because it's so far out of my comfort zone but I've put it on a list so that I will definitely read it this year and hopefully at the start of this year as well. I actually have read The Book Thief and I gave it three out of five stars. Like I enjoyed it but it wasn't really my wheelhouse and I did read it at the beginning of the year like I said in that video so I have conquered that question I'm pretty happy that I've read that book. As for a book that I haven't read yet because I'm just not in the mood for it I'm not sure. I was putting off Truth Witch and I was putting off Nightblood but I've since filmed a reading vlog and tackled both of those on my TBR just because they kept getting pushed aside. Actually, 
I have Eon by Alison Goodman that I just keep putting on TBRs and I keep putting in reading vlogs and I haven't started it yet. So I definitely say Eon because it's not like it's a bad book or anything. I just keep putting it aside for some reason and I just need to pick it up and finish it. Question number seven is what book have you yet to read because it's humongous? And if I filmed this last year, I would have said It by Stephen King, but I actually finished that for Spookathon. So my answer for that is actually The Fireman by Joe Hill, who is actually Stephen King's son. I'm still going to say It's The Fireman by Joe Hill because I haven't read it yet but it's on my radar and I want to read it next year so that might be a little bit of a sneaky spoiler peek into my priority list for next year. Question number eight is what book have you yet to read because it was a cover buy that had poor reviews? I don't really do that anymore. When I first got into bookstagram and booktube I tended to go out and buy a ton of books that were getting raved about. I know at the moment Serpent and Dove is getting raved about a lot, but I haven't gone out to buy that one because I don't think it'll be something that I enjoy. So I haven't really got on board the hype train, I guess, for new releases like I usually would. I've kind of investigated them and made the decision not to buy them because I know my reading tastes a little bit better than I did a couple of years ago. And I did say in my previous video that I had a bunch of old Owlcrate books that I got rid of and that kind of links into the fact that I don't get book subscription boxes very much anymore. Anymore because I know that the books in them are probably not going to necessarily be for me and what I like reading because I like reading a lot of adult fantasy rather than young adult but I still you know dip in and out of young adult so I don't want to predominantly read a lot of young adult because I'll find it just mediocre rather than really enjoyable. That is my long-winded answer for that question. Question number nine is what is the most intimidating book in your TBR pile? The most intimidating book on my TBR pile is called A Little Life. <sighs> So the most intimidating book that is still on my to be read pile is still the same answer as it was in January and it's A Little Life by I think it's Hanya Yanagihira. I said in my January video that it's not because of the length of it that I'm intimidated it's the content and I know it's going to make me sad and that is still my answer now. I've considered unhauling it because I want to avoid it but I also know that it's going to be a good book so I've held on to it because I'm convinced that I will read it. I think if I don't read it next year then I'll probably get rid of it because there's no sense on holding on to it for that long if I just keep avoiding it because if I keep avoiding it I don't want to read it so maybe I'll try it in a try chapter or something I don't know I need to read it basically and there you go that was the end of the tag I'm actually a little bit surprised that I had a couple of books that are still on my reading pile like A Little Life and The Fireman but I'm glad that I got through a bunch of the chunky fantasy on my TBR because I knew that I was going to make an effort to do that this year and so I'm glad I've succeeded a little bit in that regard. But there you go, that was the intimidating TBR tag. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to do this tag, consider yourself tagged and I will chat to you down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!